Today, let's delve into a fascinating episode from the life of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam during his migration from Makkah to Medina. Accompanying him was Sayyiduna Abu Bakr Siddiq, radiallahu anhu. At this time, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was pursued by his opponents who sought to capture him with a reward of 100 camels offered for his arrest. As they journeyed, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Sayyiduna Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anhu came across a camp belonging to an elderly woman named Ummay Mabad who sold food to travelers. They approached her and asked for food. Unfortunately, she had nothing to offer and as her goat was too weak and had not produced milk for some time, the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked if he could milk the goat. The lady said the goat hadn't been milked for long. It was said by the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, permit me to milk it. With her permission, he did something remarkable. He invoked the name of Allah, touched the goat's udders and they miraculously filled with milk. He then milked the goat, filling all the containers in the house. The Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Sayyiduna Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu and his slave drank their fill, yet the containers remained full and the goat appeared revitalized. Ummay Mabad's husband Abu Ma'bad radiallahu anhuma returned home. He was astonished by the abundance of milk and asked his wife what had happened. She described the visitor as a man with a bright and good-looking face, leaving a lasting impression with his presence. Her detailed description of the Prophet's appearance, often quoted in books, was filled with admiration and beauty. How remarkable her description was. Let's listen to her words translated. Ummay Mabad described him as a man of noticeable good looks, with a handsome face and an excellent complexion. She said he had neither a protruding belly, nor was he thin and weak. He had striking black eyes, long eyelashes, a resonant voice, a shiny neck, and a thick beard. Her description was so vivid that her husband Abu Ma'bad was delighted. The following day, when Mabadian, when Abu Ma'bad radiallahu anhu returned home, he asked his wife to recount her description of the handsome stranger once more. Although they didn't know the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by name at the time, he became a frequent topic of conversation in their tent. Abu Ma'bad affectionately referred to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as Mubarak meaning blessed. They spoke about him often, eager to hear more about Mubarak. Historians note that this encounter led them both to visit to Medina and embrace Islam at the hand of the Holy Prophet. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This story illustrates a broader point. Those who spoke admiringly of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Praising him with respect were themselves elevated and remembered through history. Although Ummu Ma'bad just lived in a tent, her words and connection to the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam have made her a lasting part of this narrative. As a poet once said, Whoever spoke the Prophet's name with respect, their name was also lifted high. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ala Muhammad. I must strive to reform myself and people of the entire world.